I have 422 friends, yet I am lonely. I speak to them all every day, yet none of them really know me. The problem I have lies in spaces between looking into their eyes or their name on a screen. I took a step back, I opened my eyes, I looked around, and I realized that this media we call social is anything but. When we open our computers, and it's our doors we shut. All this technology we have is just an illusion, community, companionship, a sense of inclusion, but when you step away from this device of delusion, you awaken to see a world of confusion, a world where we're slaves to the technology we've mastered, where information is sold by some rich, greedy bastard, a world of self-interest, self-image, self-promotion. We share only the best bits and leave out the emotion. We're at almost happy with an experience we share, but is it the same if no one is there? Be there for your friends and they'll be there for you too, but no one will be when a group message will do. We edit and exaggerate, crave adulation. We pretend not to notice the social isolation. We put our words in order until our lives are glistening, but we don't even know if anyone is listening. Being alone isn't the problem. Let me just emphasize, if you read a book, paint a picture, or just do some exercise, you're being productive and present, not reserved or recluse. You're awake and attentive, putting your time to good use. So when you're in public and you start to feel alone, put your hands behind your head, step away from your phone. You don't have to stare at your menu or your contact list. Just learn to talk with one another, do more than coexist. I can't stand to hear the silence of a busy commuter train where no one wants to talk for fear of looking insane. We're becoming unsocial. It no longer satisfies to engage with one another or to look into another's eyes. We're surrounded by children who, since they were born, have seen us looking like robots and think it's the norm. It's not very likely you'll win world's greatest dad if you can't entertain a child without using an iPad. When I was a child, I'd never be home. I'd be out with my friends. On our bikes, we would roam. We'd wear holes in our clothes with grass stains on our knees. We built a clubhouse way up high in the trees. Now, the parks are so silent, it gives me a chill. There's no children outside and swings hanging still. There's no hopscotch, no skipping, no church and no steeple. We're a generation of idiots, smartphones, and dumb people. So look up from your phone, shut down your display, take in your surrounding, make the most of today. Just one real connection is all it can take to show you the difference that being there can make. Be there in the moment she gives you the look you remember forever as when love overtook. The time she first held your hands or first kissed your lips. The time you first disagreed but still love her to bits. The time you don't have to tell hundreds about what you've just done because you want to share this moment with just this one. The time you sell your computer so you can buy a ring for the girl of your dreams who is now the real thing. The time you want to start a family and the moment when you first hold your baby girl and get to fall in love again. The time she keeps you up at night when all you want is rest. The time you wipe away your tear as your baby girl flees the nest. The time your baby girl returns with a baby boy for you to hold and the time he calls you granddad and makes you feel real old. The time you take in all you've made just by giving life attention and how glad you are you didn't waste it by looking down at some invention. The time you hold your wife's hand, sit down beside her head, tell her that you love her and lay a kiss upon her head. And when she whispers to you quietly as her heart gives a final beat, that she's so lucky she got stopped by that lost boy on the street. But none of these times ever happened. You never had any of this. When you're so busy looking down, you don't see the chances you miss. So look up from your phones, shut down your display, we have a finite existence, a set number of days. Don't waste your life getting caught in the net, because when the end comes, nothing's worse than regret. I'm guilty, too, of being part of this machine, this social world where we're heard but not seen. We talk while we type, we read while we chat, we spend hours together without making eye contact. Don't give in to a life where you follow the hype. Give people your love. Don't give them your like. Disconnect from the need to be heard and defined. Go out into the world, leave distraction behind. Look up from your phone, shut down your display, 
stop watching videos, live life the real way.